channel welcome i hope that you are enjoying the videos that you see up on the channel as some of you are aware i have asked um, if you would be interested in coloring a complete coloring book with me up on the channel and i posted quite a few different polls Anyway, to cut a long story short, we ended up as a community selecting Rita Berman, and then we chose Mine Rice Dutch Asian, which means my travel through Asia. And we also have chosen Polychromos pencils. Now, I must say, it was quite um, neck and neck there between Prismas and Polys, you know. Some of you were very keen on the Prismas, but the majority won the Polys. So we are going to be completing this entire book, all 91 or so pages. This um, page is up on the channel in the playlist, um, but I am going to dedicate a specific playlist for this book. And um, so this one you can color with me up on the channel and then everything else we are going to color together and I'm not going to make you any promise as to when this book is going to be completed. Um, I am going to do my best to make it relatively quick. Um, but that being said, I can't tell you whether it will be two or three pages per month or one page per month. Um, it really just depends on how much time I actually get each month to coloring. Um, so we are going to just take it easy, see how it goes, but also approach this with some due diligence. And today's picture, um, I am going to be coloring an easy-ish page. And it is this one here. Um, I thought it's quite nice and simple. You've got some puppies got a pretty bird a butterfly and then these here I thought we could make like um, daisies um, of some sort um, so I might make these ones yellow and these ones down here um, white or maybe three yellows and two whites or the other way around I don't know but it's going to basically be yellow and red and green um, for the color scheme and then the bird I'm going to do with browns but on the chest here I'm going to do um, yellow kind of colors so I think it's going to look okay um, I have no idea what to do about the butterfly so maybe we'll do the butterfly orange I'm not sure yet but we'll figure it out as we go so I went up onto my colorful country life's um, YouTube channel because she's got a variety of color combos available on her channel for both Prismas and Polychromos. Now, whilst I really do enjoy Polychromos, I'm not as familiar with them as I am with Prismas. So my choices of colors don't always work very cohesively together. So to help me, to help you, um, and make this whole process a lot more simple and enjoyable, I am going to be borrowing my Colourful Country Life's uh, colour combos just to help me in this process and also ensure that my pictures um, are pretty and your pictures are pretty. As always, if you want to change up the colours, you're welcome to do that. It's your colouring book, so you do what you want to do. Um, but this is the page I'm going to colour in and this is how I'm going to colour it. Um, I might not talk throughout the entire video and that is just because sometimes my brain switches off and I go into a mindful state and I'm just absorbed in what I'm doing. Um, where I do that I will try and put some nice music on for you to listen to. Hopefully nothing too hectic but very mellow and relaxing. Um, I will try not to speed up the video however if you prefer sped up videos do let me know in the comments. If you are happy with just real time, then um, my videos are usually done in real time. All right, so um, that's that. Now let's get started. So I think what I'm going to do first is go around and do all the leaves and then we'll move on to the puppies. So I'm going to zoom you in a bit more. Okay. Right. So for the small leaves around the, which create the frame, we're going to use 
this color combo which is may green 170 permanent green olive 167 chrome oxide green 276 no sorry 278 and um, basically the may green is our highlight and our shadow is going to be the chrome oxide green so i'm just going to um, begin with my shadow and let's see how it goes okay so now I'm going to take my permanent green olive 167 and I'm just going to go around that and this is how I'm just going to layer up my pencils. Now with these leaves being so small, I don't really need to make them uh, layered upon layered upon layered. I'm just going to make sure that I go lighter as I go out. But I'm also not wanting to faff around, so I'm going to make sure I layer up and I also, you know, just get on with it. Sometimes I can faff too much <laughs> over my colouring and it's not always necessary, really. Um, some, some things like skin and petals and hair, you need a bit more layers than these little leaves. With these little leaves we can just go ahead and um, finish them off quite quickly. All right, this is May Green 117 and here I'm just going to go over the whole thing. Alright, so that is how I'm going to do all the flower, the leaves around the frame. So um, I'm going to do that off camera and then come back. And when I'm finished, um, you will, when I come back, you'll see the whole frame will be done. So I'll see you in a bit. Alright, so as you can see, I've done the greenery around the frame. And now I'm going to come and do the leaf over here and the stems of all these um, these beautiful plants beautiful flowers actually okay so again I'm going to do the um, the shadowed parts of all these leaves and stems because I actually um, find it easier as I mentioned earlier so I'm just going to bring in my juniper green and I'm going to come along here and just along this edge. Now I'm not working on whether I'm using um, different shades of light and all of that. Right now I just want to get a feel for the actual book and just break it in. And this will help me uh, build my confidence. And then from there, I will be able to like, go ahead and go, okay, I know what I'm doing. I feel more comfortable and I might start bringing in a bit of light source. But for now, this is more what I want to do. And just take my time with it, do it slow and see how it goes. Right, so this here is like grass, so I will have to pick a different green for that. Um, but in the meantime... Okay, now I'm going to use the same green around on these um, beautiful leaves here.
in here where she's got a lot of lines I'm just going to use that as a guide for my shadowed areas okay, and in here it's because one part of this is going to be on top of that so All right, so now I'm going to bring in my permanent green, number 266, and just go over that. And I'm not going to bring it out too much because I've got two more shades of green still, so I don't need to really worry about it too much. And you want to try and keep little circles because that will just help you with the blending. Um, Oil-based pencils kind of wherever you put the pigment that's where it's going to stay. So you do want to make sure that it's staying in the right place. So now we're going to get our grass green and we're just going to bring that out just a bit. Now here we don't have to go all the way back into the shadows. All right, and then we're going to, oh, sorry, hang on. I forgot this section here. All right, so now I'm going to bring in light green 171. You could probably even just blend this out with a little bit of ivory if you wanted to, or cream. But I really like these colors and I really like that they easily blendable. I mean, that's the beauty of uh, channels like My Colorful Country Life. You know without a shadow of a doubt that you are getting recommendations by someone who is really got years of experience and it they these are test tried and tested you know <laughs> great color combos and they've gone the distance all right so here this is similar to these leaves in the frame so i'm just going to bring that in um so we're going to use our chrome oxide green here along here
then we're going to use our permanent green olive number 167 And then we'll finish it off with lay green. A little bit more chrome oxide just in there. All right, so that is our leaves done for now. I will just give some thought to these ones here. I might leave that for the end of the page. Um, but I think that it's safe to say that this here is going to be also um, part of our greenery. So we're going to carry on here with some green. So this is the juniper green. And then here, Okay, then we're going for our permanent green. Then we have our grass green, very lightly into there. And then we've got light green. All right, that will do. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom in on this big poppy here and show you how I'm going to do that. So for this we're going to need Dark Indigo 157, Red Violet 194, Deep Scarlet Red 219, uh, we're going to need Dark Red 225, 113 Orange Glaze and Dark Cadmium, Cadmium Yellow 108. Alright, I'm going to start very tentatively with the Dark Indigo. And I'm just going to work out where to place this in very small quantities in the deeper shadows.
so here this is sitting on here Right, so we come up here. Then now what we're going to do is we're going to bring in our red violet and we're going to go over all the blue.
Okay, so now let's go over that with dark red 225. And as you can see, I'm going over my shadows because I want to make this more reddish. And the dark red and the indigo together are creating a purple. So that's going to create my shadow. But I do want to keep adding that red so it doesn't look purple. It, the shadowed areas look more, more red. Now with the flower, it might have been actually better to have gone from uh, light to dark instead of dark to light. So if you prefer a light to dark approach, you can always start with the yellow and work your way down to the indigo. I've actually only colored poppies once. This is my second time. And this time I'm also not using a reference photo, which is probably not the best of ideas. But we will see how we go. As with everything, the more you practice it, the better you are. So I just need to color poppies a bit more to be a bit more Um, to be a bit better at colouring poppies but again like I said we're just getting into the book it will be really difficult to treat each page as a masterpiece and let's be honest it's not not every page is going to turn out phenomenal hopefully we can have more pages than uh, less pages that actually we're really proud of and we really enjoy looking at. But we're just breaking in the book, getting used to the pictures, getting our eye in. Okay, so now we're going to go into our Deep Scarlet, which is number 
Okay, so now we're going to bring in the orange, which is Orange Glaze 113. And I do want to go over all this red because, and I want to blend it out because I want this now to start brightening up my red and my shadows. Remember, polychromos shine when you layer them. They're not like Prisma colors where you can smoosh the colors together. The more you layer, the better the results. So I don't mind going over all my all of my poppy and just brightening everything up. Um, if I need to, I'll go back down and I'll add in the um, the red, the bright red. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in the deep cadmium yellow, which is 108, so it's dark cadmium, not deep. My apologies. And just in these highlighted areas, just brighten them up. Right, and I'm going to go back down to my Deep Scarlet Red, which is 219, and I'm going to work this areas up a bit more. I don't really feel I need much more dark. I really do want some more. I need to smoothen out these areas here, so. Okay, 
and as you can see by working over it like this I'm just blending out and freshening everything up some more of that yellow again so the dark yellow cadmium yellow 108 back over that with my deep scarlet red 219 some more here Then some more of my dark red, sorry, no, red violet 194. I'm hoping, if nothing else, you can see how rich the polychromos colors get when you do a lot of layers. But I think this is pretty much saturated now. Okay, so now I'm going to take my May Green 170 around here. And my Permanent Green Olive 167. And my Chrome Oxide Green 278 and just go back down all the way okay so now I will need to pull out some browns at a later stage and just do the inside here but 
let's move on and do the next flower we're going to use the same color same principle except this time i think i'm going to try and do the flower um, light to dark so um, let's just do our may green here for the center and we've got our uh, permanent green olive And then our chrome oxide green. Okay. So I'm going to do this the other reverse, so the lightest to the darkest. And um, we will see how this goes. And now for our orange glaze, one, one, three.
Okay, so now I'm going to bring in the deep scarlet red and I'm just going to carry on building up my layers and working through my process. So I'm probably going to go all the way to the dark indigo and then all the way back down just to make sure that the um, color is nice and deep and um, we will see how it goes. Okay, so now I'm going to bring in my dark red and I'm just working on building up the shadowed areas now.
so I want to bring in a bit more of this red so I've gone back down to my deep scarlet red 219 Okay, and then I want to go back down to my orange glaze So here I'm just trying to make sure my pencils are blending smoothly. Okay, so now I'm going to go back down to my red violet 194. Okay, so now we want that dark indigo.
Okay, now we're going to go back over that with our dark red. Now because of the way I've layered these pencils, we're getting very different results. Okay, then we want our dark red, And then we want to go back down to our deep scarlet red. Then the orange, which is one one three. The yellow, 108. Um, deep Scarlet Red, 219. Okay, so now we have this 
poppy here which I'm going to do dark to light again because I actually really prefer the color that I got from there I felt it was much redder and not as yellow and orange um, but I'm not unhappy with the way they've turned out um, it's just what I prefer so um, starting with my dark indigo and what I'm going to do is this flower I'm going to do all, um, to music I'm not going to talk because it's already spoken about my approaches and I'll let you decide See you in a bit.